Okay guys, so we're gonna do a build video for Diablo is this is this build is for a lot of damage but very good um very good survivability. This guy will rock house if you do this build, right? It's from another build, but I've tweaked one skill on it because it very much helps. Okay, so level one is the soul feast gain more health for, and health regeneration so basically when I'm at level 20 and I've got 150 souls I'm usually over 8,000 health yeah so that helps this guy survive because he doesn't really have any heals and he doesn't really have any means of escape I right, problem level 20 teleport so having the super health helps you drastically okay it, it's meant to be amplified healing on this build but I've decided that this thing is very handy for a lot of team fights. Okay, your fire waves extend 50% further. That is massive against people running or in team fights in general. Okay, because it can reach all the way through things and find a lot of hidden people kicking about. Okay, and obviously later it gets very good with this. Okay, so here. It goes to increase the maximum you can hold to 150 because that goes in conjunction. More souls you've got, more health you've got. Yeah, and you get a monstrous amount of health and faster health regen, a lot faster health. Okay, so 10 is the lightning breath. Extremely good. As soon as you use it, you'll be like, yeah, never apocalypse. Lightning breath, always. Right, it is so good. Okay, here, right, this thing is very good it helps you from being remember like saying you've got no means of escape so that's why this thing is needed with you more than most all right if if he did have means of heals or whatever but i i would choose increase the shadow charge range but you need that survivability so that's why this is here okay it's very easy to choose others but you got to think you got to get away, you don't want to be stunned, um, polymorphed, rooted, you know, you want to get get in, do your damage and get out without being overwhelmed, All right, so that's why that's there, okay, so ignore them please. 16, it shouldn't ever be anything else, no matter when you, whatever you do with Diablo, this is the, the move you need, because my god, because my god, as soon as you have this thing, that's when it becomes extremely viable. Because right? you've got to think, you first made it go 50% further. So that's going to help with catching things, catching people that are low health. yeah, And doing a monstrous amount of damage on the return run really helps decimate a lot of things, a lot of minions, a lot of everything around. So yes, always get this. Level 20, go for that. Okay, always go for that. It is monstrously powerful. Yeah, it is very handy. And the 50% longer, you know, as soon as you're in team fights, this thing will, will help you. It will just change the whole pace of that team fight. So, because the squishies, the squishies cannot engage because <laughs> that thing is so bloody long and, and really powerful. So these, all the squishies will just run off or you'll kill them because you'll try and get close to them when you set it off. And it is very good, All right? But that's it, guys. That is the build. Um, hopefully, use it. And I'll show you. I'll do. I upload my video on YouTube about my play that I did with him using that build, and it's rock solid. You know, it's it's a winner. I recommend using a <laughs> the green reindeer because it matches the kaiju. It you matches the kaiju uh, skin. All right, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you liked. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Right, bye bye.